and scouting is just in its infancy. Baden Powell had planned for scouting to be especially for boys over the age of 11, but boys of 8, 9 and 10 were also very keen to join. Scout leaders soon got fed up of continually turning the younger boys away and started to relent by allowing them to join and officially become them the Scout Collect Corps. My son's joined a troop now and is thoroughly enjoying his scouting. Although he does say the younger boys still keep pestering to join. Yes, that is one of the reasons I've come to see you. As you know, I call the Scout Walls, which is the Red Indian title for a good scout. And so the boys who are to learn through walls must first learn through Rob Cubs. Baden Powell had known about Kipling's story involving a boy being brought up by a wolf pack. It was an ideal make-believe background to base wolf cubs upon, full of ideas for training, colourful characters, interesting ceremonies and fun. In 1916, the Wolf Cub Handbook was published, written and illustrated by Baden Powell himself. And so Wolf Cubs were born. New boys who were called Tender Pads had to learn the law and promise before being invested as Wolf Cubs. The Cubs is the young wolf, the Cubs does not mean to himself. I promise to do my best, to be loyal to God, to the King, and the law of the wolf cup pack, and to do a good turn to somebody every day. Now you have taken the solemn promise of wolf cup, you have become one of the great brotherhood of scouts. The new cubs once have been invested with wolf cubs and able to partake in the grand tale. Pack, 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 pack! Prince.
Prince of Wales visited the Scouter Rally in Alexandra Palace in 1922. There were 20,000 wolf cubs present. In the first World Jamboree in 1920 in Olympia, there were 500 wolf cubs present. Its popularity has snowboarded since then. Over the next 50 years, wolf cubs saw little change. The early activities continued through, instilling a sense of achievement and discipline in the boys, but maintaining the fun element. Although the wolf cubs were still holding their appeal, the whole scouting was given a facelift in 1967. And this was when wolf cubs were renamed the Cub Scouts. Further changes included the Promise and Law, which were updated. Beer Scouts were introduced in 1986, once again due to pressure from young boys. Cub cats were disposed of, along with uniforms changing from jumpers to sweatshirts. In 1990, girls were officially allowed to join in the fun of scouting. Milton Keynes, the new city, with fast first of activities, holds scouting as one of its main pastimes for young and old alike. The popularity of which has backed the trend nationally in groups and sections expanding, especially within the cub age range. We've only given you a brief insight of the history of cubbing and the fun and opportunities that it provides. Now please join in with us in wishing hundreds and thousands of other Cub Scouts throughout the world a very happy 80th birthday. And the BU Scouts happy 10th birthday year for fun and friends. March, march, march down the road with me to the Cub Scout Jamboree. Join the throng and swing the as we sing our 